Welcome everyone to part two of our Scratch Hero game. In this section we're going to make an energy capsule that the hero can collect and gain points. So let's go ahead and paint our next sprite by clicking on Paint a New Sprite. We're going to take the Circle tool and use the outline. I'm then going to pick a color. You can pick any color of your choice and I'm going to draw an oval. I'm then going to take the square and use the fill and pick another color complementary and draw a box at the top and bottom. I'm then going to take my paintbrush pick another color like a, a brighter one and I'm going to draw, paint a squiggly line on the inside of my capsule. If you don't like your squiggly line, you can always undo it and repaint another one. Click OK when you're finished. So now I have a capsule and I'm going to name this uh, Energy Capsule. and uh, maybe the name is a little bit too long so we'll just name it capsule that's better okay so now we want to go to costumes we're going to tr animate this capsule by copying it and then slightly changing it so I'll click the copy button then click the edit button and I'm going to use my eraser to erase my squiggly line and I'm going to pick a darker orange this time and a small brush size and I'm going to draw oops, I'm on the eraser click the paintbrush and draw a squiggly line doesn't have to be the same pattern and you could also pick a darker purple or a lighter purple and then use your paint bucket to fill it and click OK then we will copy costume 2 click on edit we'll then erase this squiggly line and I'm going to pick even even darker color and maybe switch the line pattern something else and I will now use a lighter purple and then click OK and copy it once more and then edit this copy and this time I'm going to pick a lighter orange and repaint my squiggly line and I'm going to pick a darker purple It's about the same, so we'll go to this one, which is about where we ended up, where we started from, and we'll do one more. So we'll copy, and we'll, we'll edit, and this time we will take, we'll start with our regular orange, and you can use your paint bucket to fill your squiggly line if you want to keep the pattern the same, and we'll end up on the same purple that we started from or the darker purple. So now as I click on these you can see how your capsule will be animated and what we have to do now is add the code in order to animate our capsule. So we will go to the scripts panel and we'll go to the 
control panel and when the green flag is clicked we want our capsule to continually change costume so we'll use a forever block and then we will go to looks and use next costume and now when we click on the green flag notice our capsule is um, vibrating and changing but this is kind of fast maybe we want to slow it down a little bit so we'll hit stop and we'll go to control and we'll add a weight block and each time through the loop it will change the costume wait a certain number of seconds in this case 0.3 seconds and then change the costume again so you can make the, the change go faster or slower by changing the weight a certain number of seconds now the next thing we might want to do is to uh, well let's shrink it, it's a little large so we're going to shrink the capsule a bit so it's not so easy to get and I'm going to shrink my enemies a little bit while I'm at it and when I'm done I'm going to click off now maybe we want the capsule to appear in a particular position and then disappear and then reappear so when the green flag is clicked this time we will go to motion and pick a random position so to pick a random position we will use the go to block then we'll go to operators and pick a random number and we want to pick a random number between the distance the x distance from negative 180 to 180 and I'm sorry the y distance from 180 to negative 180 and the x distance from negative 240 to 240 but we don't want it to appear at the edge of the screen so we'll shrink the sides a little bit by saying instead of uh, on the x we're going to go from negative 220 to 220 and then we'll put this up in the x and then for the y we will go to negative 160 to 160 and we'll dump this one in the y now if for some reason you can't doesn't let you dump it inside you can change the view so that your screen is smaller and the scripts panel is larger then you can place the random code inside the Y variable and then switch back to the other view. Alright so now when we click it notice our capsule appears in a different location so that section of code is working. It's always important to do one section of code and then test it before going on. So the next thing we might want to do is to uh, make it appear, stay for a particular amount of time and then disappear and go to another random location. And we can use the code that we have right now. If we want it continually to appear, disappear and then go to a random location and appear again we can use a forever loop. So we go to control and we'll just drag a forever loop and notice that if I want it to go in between I just wait for the white bar and then I can click and drop it in. Now we already have our pick random location and now all we need to do is add a wait block and we can add a time that we want it to say in a particular location we might add it have it wait five seconds. So now when we click on the green flag to test our code we can see if it changes location every five seconds and it looks like it's doing so and if we want to add this to test the rest of the code that we've done with it we can click on this green flag to make all the code go and notice now we have our enemy going up and down back and forth and we have our hero guy that's trying to catch the capsule so I'm going to go ahead and stop right now so what we want to do is if the hero touches the capsule we want to add to the hero's score 
So we're going to go to variables. The, a variable is something that changes throughout a program. And so the score will start at zero, and every time that we touch the capsule, it will change by one. So we're going to click on a variable, make a variable, and we're going to name it score, and we're going to click OK. And notice here we get a little sign up that tells us that our score is zero. So now when the green flag is clicked, we want to set, go to variables, and set the score to zero. Because every time you start the game, your score should be zero. Now every time the hero touches the capsule, we want the score to change by one. So the hero is doing the action. So we'll go to hero, and we will now say when the green flag is clicked and we're going to use a forever if. So forever if the hero is touching the capsule we want to change the score by one. So we can go to sensing and we can use touching and put it inside our forever if block. Notice that there is uh, they match the shapes match up and we can use the drop down arrow to pick the object. So forever if the hero, which is the character that we're on up here, so forever if the hero is touching the capsule, we want to go to variables and use change our score by one. So now if we start our game, we can have our hero, hero character try to get the capsule. And notice its score goes up a lot because the reason that is is because every time let me stop it first every time the hero touches the capsule it goes up by one and if we look at costumes and click edit and we look at click down here where it says plus the center of the costume we can see that the center of the cost we can see the center of the costume of the hero and so that's over the top of the hero of the capsule a lot more than once because the computer calculates a bunch of times and so the score is going up really fast so what we want to do is change it to say that uh, wait until it's okay if it's touching the capsule but wait until it's not touching the capsule and then add the score by one and this will make our score go up only by one each time we touch the capsule so we're going to use a wait and tell and we're going to take the touching and put it in let's see so forever if touching the capsule we want in wait and tell not touching the capsule so we take the operator and we get a not block and then again we go to sensing and touching and we change capsule. So forever if he's touching the capsule wait until he's not touching the capsule and then change the score by one. So we will reset our game and now it waited until I wasn't touching the capsule and the score went up by one. And that prevents the score racing up needlessly. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial and I will see you next time for part three. Have a good night.